Welcome to Cook with Joy. I'm Joy Kelly and this is my cooking show and it's my favorite cooking show. I hope it becomes your favorite cooking show too. It already is. It already is. That's because I feed you, buddy. That's why you like it. And if you guys cook along with me, you can feed yourselves and your family some really delicious, nutritious, vegan, gluten-free food. And I promise you that you might not like every recipe, but there's going to be something that you really love. And I'd love to hear about that. You can communicate me, with me through cookwithjoy.com. So check that out. Today we're making a recipe that one of my friends, Suzanne Fuller, brought to an event that I have. I do a lot of events at my house and usually they're a potluck. And usually people bring finger food to potlucks because it makes it easy. The day that she brought this dish was a day that people were bringing all sorts of things and I found it very clever. She calls them deviled tomatoes. And I used to love deviled eggs and now I love her deviled tomatoes. So we're gonna make those today. So we're gonna start with tomatoes and you could use romas or you could use cherries. The cherries are gonna be a lot smaller of course. The romas are gonna be a little bit meatier. You're gonna see which ones you like best. Take a look at the bottom. The bottom of this one is kind of flat, so it's gonna stand on its own. The other end I'm gonna to have to cut off, and I'll show you how to do that. But first we're just gonna cut them in half. I'm gonna scoop out the insides, and I'm gonna save it to use in something like soup or tomato sauce. And you see how that looks? So the inside's all scooped out, and that's where we're gonna put the filling, the deviled egg. Now this one has a pointy end, but rather than cut the end off, first I'm going to scoop it out because that makes it a little bit easier. And then I'm just going to cut the very tip of it off because I don't want to have it seep through the bottom because when people pick it up, I don't want it to leak. So just that little bit has it sit on its own. Isn't that cool? I like that. Isn't that cute? Now let's try a cherry tomato. They're a little bit different. You don't really have to have those stand on their own, but they're so tiny that you have to be careful that you not smush, that's a technical term, that you not smush the whole tomato. I would probably use the cherry tomatoes if you had a really big crowd that you were trying to serve and that this was just like one of many little appetizers and I'd probably use the um, romas if I had fewer people coming and this was going to be a more substantial part of what they, they had. It does become, it's kind of a joke actually to scoop out these little tomatoes. They're so tiny. <laughs> As you can see, I've already prepped a few of these and so we're ready to go. We're just gonna make the filling now to put inside of these. We're gonna put one can of rinsed garbanzo beans into the food processor. I've used the food processor a lot this season, Derek. And you're doing really good at it. I know, I'm getting really, I think that's the key is that I need to do it more and more and more. All right. And then, once again, I'm using the juice of one lemon, which you thought I was doing excessively. So, I'm sorry about that, but I am using a lot of lemons this season. Lemons are superfoods. They're awesome for us. They're high in vitamin C, but they also have a lot of other properties as well. So look for those facts on my website. I'm just taking the juice of a half of a lemon because that's about two tablespoons. If you've got a large lemon, that's about two tablespoons of lemon juice. And that's what it calls for. And you know, you can always add more lemon, but you can't take the lemon out. So I find that it's better to add less and then add some more if you need it. We're also, also going to add a third of a cup of Veginase. And Veginase is just a vegan mayonnaise. If you're not worried about eggs, you can use regular mayonnaise, but I use Veginase. And I'm also going to add two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. <gasps> just a little technical difficulty. And that's how this show started, Derek, was me screwing stuff up. I was doing um, selfie videos, live videos. And the first one was with the food processor that I could not get the top on in the middle of the thing. The second one was me dumping an entire pot of tomato soup over my iPhone as I was showing the camera. And uh, you know, it's just, that's, that's how Cook with Joy was born. So we regrouped there. We got that taken in. I, I, I didn't even miss a beat. We're going to add some mustard. How much mustard are we going to add? Two tablespoons. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. I like a lot of mustard. Which is, do you? Maybe I'll add a little bit more. I don't know very much about mustard. I need to research that. I'll include that in the write-up. What do you know about I like mustard? ground mustard and stone ground mustard. Uh-huh. I like all types of mustard on faux turkey, not, not like real turkey hot dogs, but faux turkey hot dogs. I love that. Okay, let's see. What else do we need? We need a teaspoon. You remember this, all right? We need a teaspoon of curry powder a pinch of ground cumin, two tablespoons of ch finely chopped chives, 
And the tomatoes, and I think that's it. Did you already put the lemon in? Um, yes, I did put the lemon in, and I didn't spill either. Okay, we'll do a little pepper. I'm going to do a lot of pepper because I like pepper. I actually can make really good deviled eggs. I used to make really good deviled eggs. I grew up in the Midwest, and that was a very fancy, fancy thing to bring. How much curry did I say? One teaspoon. One teaspoon, that's it? Okay, well, I'm going to cleverly measure this in a tablespoon, but I'll do less than a tablespoon, so then we'll know it's the right amount. Okay. I don't know if you guys know this, but we shoot these all at one time. Anywhere from 9 to 15 episodes in one outing. And uh, it's, it's, we get a little slap happy by the end. So you're, how do you you're, do it? Yeah. How do you do it? I don't know. I don't know how I do it. All right, two tablespoons of finely chopped chives. Now, that's not very fine, so I'm going to chop those a little bit more because it does say finely chopped, I think. Yes, finely chopped. Chives or scallions. Now, scallion, I believe, is just a green onion, right? That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, that's pretty finely chopped, and it's a little bit more, but I always err on the side of more except for liquids, because liquids you can't take out. And I guess you can't take the herbs out either, but perfect. I already put the curry powder in, right? Now I just need a pinch of cumin, a pinch. I don't know what that means exactly. With my track record today, I better be a little careful. All right. And then we just blend it up, I believe. I think that's everything. Do you need help putting the lid on? No, I think I got it. I think I got it. All right, here we go. Voila, I'm just magic now. And we don't want to get it too uh, blended up. We just want to have it kind of be nice and coarse and chunky. But I also want to make sure that I get all of the pieces in here. I like this Hamilton Beach blender because, food processor, because it has this wide mouth, because it has a really large capacity. Most food processors that you buy have half of this capacity, and they're more of a pain in the butt to clean. So anyway, let's just get it a little bit blended, but not too blended, kind of like an egg would be. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Awesome. All right. And then, this is the easy part. We're just going to scoop them into, in the midst of losing my nutritional yeast, I've also lost my spoon. So we're going to fill these, and they're so cute, I can't even stand it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Well, I want to taste it, is what I want to do. It's just adorable. I need a fancy plate to put them on, though. So that's the, that is the Roma size. Let's see what the little cherry tomato size looks like. I think that's going to be really, really tiny. I feel like, um, who is the guy that was in Big? Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks, yeah. I feel like him a little bit, like when he's eating those little baby corns. That kind of feels like that. So I, my, my recommendation is to do the bigger sizes. I think, this, I think the cherries are too small. This is my first time making these. I've eaten them before, but it's the first time that I've made them. And I go for that. After you fill all of these, so just a couple things. You're getting tomatoes, which tomatoes are just awesome for lycopene. They're awesome for vitamin C. So many things that tomatoes are great for. If you're a man or if you're out in the sun, you need to be eating tomatoes every day. And you can eat them in tomato sauce. You can eat them in lasagna. So many different ways that you can eat tomatoes. But tomatoes, definitely every day. Garbanzo beans, awesome for helping blood pressure. So many things that garbanzo beans do. I mean, every single ingredient, with the exception of the veginase. And the veginase is just a, it's just like not bad for you. But everything else is something good for you. The mustard, the spices that we put in it, the nutritional yeast. Oh my goodness. This is a rock star appetizer to bring. And I need to have someone help me with these to make them look a little bit prettier. Why don't you just scoop it with the tomato instead of the spoon? Because um, that wouldn't work. That would not work. That would be a mess. And then it would get all over my fingernails on top of it. It also says to use some paprika to sprinkle over the top just for decoration. And I think that that's a good idea. However, I'm missing my little sprinkler. Hold on one second. OK, I'm back. All right, here we go. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on top. Oh, too much. I need, a, I need a finer sprinkler. That's pretty good. OK, now I need to try one. I'm going to try one of these little babies. You know, that is really good. That is better than a deviled egg, in my opinion. That is awesome. Try this recipe. 
Let me know what you think about it. Go to cookwithjoy.com. You can communicate with me. Let me know if you have questions about what I did. Do I have um, faux egg all over my face? I think you're good. I'm good? Okay. That's kind of, that, that would be like a thing, right? It's like egg on your face. It would be faux egg on my face. It means you yeah? don't really have it. That, right. But it'd be a faux egg on yes. my face. Yes. yes. Faux egg on my face. I, I love this recipe. I am, this is, this is one of the hits of this season in my opinion. So I want you to try it. I want you to tell me how it goes. I want you to tell me what you think about it. Tell me recipes that you'd like to see and come back next week for another episode of Cook With Joy. Nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast, yay!